Why all the uncertainty about this payment date? Well, it boils down to, Paul, because the bond documents themselves aren't terribly specific on when the grace period ends for the $2 bonds that currently um, Country Garden earlier this month did not pay uh, interest on. August 7th was the effective date for when these payments were originally due. The actual due date was August 6th. So 30 days from those is either September 5th or September 6th. Now, because the bond documents aren't specific as to when exactly the grace period begins, whether it's the actual due date or the effective due date, there's some uncertainty in the market as to when exactly these, this 30-day period uh, runs out. Even Moody's Investor Service, they told uh, Bloomberg uh, this week that they themselves aren't entirely sure as to which day would potential default happen if payment throughout the 30 days still does not happen. Yeah, so calling a default becomes really fuzzy. Um, does that mean that we could right. see more legal issues around that? Sure, certainly um, if they do decide to pay at the very end of the 30 days, we could see some... Uh, Bondholders perhaps try and push uh, some sort of default action, um, but because of the straits that the company is in, it, chances are the bondholders will kind of lay off, especially since we have this 3.9 billion yuan bond that's also coming due that same week. Um, of course, uh, bondholders are in over the next several days are going to be voting on a proposal from Country Garden to extend this bond by three years. Um, there's also an alternative proposal to demand repayment now. So we have this meeting this week, so that should give us some clarity as to how likely or not Country Garden will actually pay the dollar bond interest um, in a few weeks. Because if they default on the Yuan bond, there's really no chance that the dollar bond coupons would then be paid.